We are back at it again here with another video with Invest for Tomorrow. To the first time viewers and investors, welcome to the channel. To all subscribers, welcome back. Here we are with the SPY, the S&P 500 index, continuing to fight to hold support and trying to rebound here in the second half of the day. And in today's volatility, our SPY buy at 7.41 a.m. sent out a bear indicator. From that moment forward, outflows crossed the midpoint to the downside. Pure weakness there on 42 vision. And put options went up 200% plus within an hour, guys. If you guys want to receive this clarity and edge of the charts, you can now gain access to it as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicators, getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors, all looking to learn and grow together by receiving this clarity and edge over the charts and using these resources to maximize in either direction, whether stocks are going up or going down. So here we are with the SPY, the S&P 500 index, fighting to hold support. And in today's video, I'm going to break down the key levels I would watch going into tomorrow. But before we do, I want to share with you guys the home run opportunity that was mentioned this morning over at the Discord. So the homer today was spectacular beyond expectations. And if you guys want to know about these stocks early on and receive this clarity and edge of the charts, you can now gain access to it as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicators, getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors, all looking to learn and grow together. So the homer today was from our Netflix bot, our Netflix bot at 921 AM sent out a bear indicator. And from that moment forward, Outflows crossed the midpoint to the downside. Pure weakness there on 42 vision. And put options went up 50% plus within an hour, guys. If you guys want to receive this clarity and edge of the charts, you can now gain access to it as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicators. Getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors. All looking to learn and grow together. We look forward to having you join us and we strive for opportunities like these every single day. Let's jump to these charts. Here we are with the SPY stock, the S&P 500 index, doing a full transition from the rip area to multiple dip areas in today's volatility. And if this is your first time coming across the channel, this is 42 vision, which allows us to see the dips from the rips, the rips to the dips, and where the strength and weakness lies within the charts. And we also use our bone bear indicators and inflow versus outflow as an extra layer of confirmation, which I'm going to pull up here and you can now gain access to as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator, getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors, all looking to learn and grow together by receiving this clarity and edge over the charts and using these resources to maximize in either direction whether stocks are going up or going down. And in today's video, I'm going to pull up the inflow versus outflow indicator, which adds that extra layer of confirmation and gives us that edge within the volatility. So here we are with the SPY stock, the S&P 500 index, continuing to fight to hold support here above 505, testing key support levels in today's volatility and under a bear indicator since yesterday, canceling out the bull indicator from back here on Friday at the 508 area, hits an all-time high up here of 513, breaks through it, and quickly came back down, right? So no surprise as we hit all-time highs, how we have these slight pullbacks, and here it is fighting to bring itself back up, and it's going to be crucial for a bull indicator to pop up to cancel out this bear indicator that popped up since yesterday in the after hours at the 513 level. Now, it isn't just the SPY pulling downwards. We also have Tesla falling. We also have Apple hitting key levels of support and fighting to hold them. And also here, as you saw the home run of the day, Netflix, it continued going lower into the close, hitting a low here of 592. So lots of eyes here on Apple, Tesla, Netflix stock. A lot of eyes here to see if it holds support and try to bounce back up and retest key resistance levels and possibly get bull indicators in the process. Now, we also had the QQQ falling and it already popped up with a bull indicator here at 435 and it's going to be crucial for
for this to hold up and go ahead and confirm with inflows to justify that further move. And I'll be watching that closely going into tomorrow. And same thing here with the SPY, which we're going to break down those inflows in just a moment. Now, when we pull up the one hour, we can see here how a bear indicator popped up at the 511 level in today's pre-market, canceling out the bull indicator since down here at 505. And we came down to a pivotal area of support, right? That was the support all last week. And here it is coming back towards it and bouncing back up sharply. And it's going to be crucial here if this transition continues from the dip area here on the one hour to go from red with green borders to dark green and bright green as we see here, right? When we see that strength followed by a possible bull indicator, I will be watching for that going into tomorrow. Now, when we zoom in, in the volatility of the 15 minute, a bear indicator had popped up going into the after hours. And we talked about this in yesterday's video, how important it was to hold above that 511.50. If that got broken through, then came 510. It rejected 510.50 today as it tried coming back up and sharply dropped towards the 508 and 505 levels. Now, here it is fighting to bring itself back up and now has a bull indicator that popped up at the 505.90 area. I'll just round that up to 506. And it's going to be crucial for this staircase effect to continue and for those inflows to follow, which we're going to pull up now. And I'm going to break down the key levels I would watch going into tomorrow. Here we are with the SPY stock, the S&P 500 index with inflows trying to pick up here in the second half of the day. But we could clearly see why there was weakness since yesterday. Those outflows crossed. And when they did, going into the opening bell, they continued to push down away from the midpoint. And that's why things continue to collapse, right? But here we are trying to bounce back up and it's reflecting already into the charts as these inflows are trying to pick up. But for this to continue a staircase effect and reflect even further strength, these inflows will need to cross the midpoint to the upside, right? So that's going to be something crucial that I will be watching here in the rest of the after hours and going into tomorrow. Now, when we zoom out and look at this from the one hour, we could see how those outflows crossed over in today's pre-market full transition from the rip area to the dip area. And they flatten out here with outflows at negative 6.34. Some of the highest outflows that we've seen in the last several days and weeks. And the recent lowest that we saw was negative 4.3 when things dropped from 503 to 495. And so far, things have dropped from 514 all the way down right towards the 504 area and quickly bouncing back up trying to get back over 508 so i will be watching if these inflows can follow to the upside now in the volatility of the 15 minute the inflows finally crossed over after outflows dominated since yesterday in the after hours and today's pre-market but inflows have crossed back over here in the after hours and they're trying to push up higher so far, creating this staircase effect in the second half of the day. So I will be watching this going into tomorrow's volatility, but here are the key levels I would watch going into tomorrow. If these outflows cross to the downside, it could quickly start to reflect that weakness into these charts. I will be watching if it rolls over into the 30 minute turning it from green to red and pulling away from the midpoint to the downside. And the first support is 505. If that gets broken through, I'll be watching 503. And then below that is the 500 area. Now to the upside, it's going to be crucial and critical for these inflows to continue pushing up here on the 15 minute, creating that staircase effect here and rolling over that strength to continue pulling upwards the 30 minute and the one hour and the first resistance is 508 and then above that level is the 509 area i'll be watching that tight range and if that gets broken through then comes 512 and then the 514 area so those are the key levels i'll be watching to the upside and to the downside the bone bear indicators are going to be crucial and these inflow versus outflows here on the 15 minute as they've crossed i'll be watching them closely and trying to see if it continues to roll over that strength into the 30 minute as well. As always, guys, thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money.